Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to review this pen display. This is the Huion Canvas 22 Plus. As usual with all my reviews, this video is going to be long. So if you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written. And you can also use the timestamps to jump to different sections of this video. Just to give you the bottom line up front as to why you may be interested in this particular model, this pen display has the best laminated display of all the pen displays that I have used. The laminated display here is even better than the one on the iPad Pro. So um, you'll find out why in this video. All right, a few disclaimers first. This is a review unit that Huion has sent over to me. I do not need to return this, but this is not a paid review. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the things included first. Let's start with this. There's the microfiber cleaning cloth, a card with links to where you can download the driver, quick start guide and manual, one artist glove, a thank you card with details on how you can contact Huion customer service or technical support. The pen display comes with one year of warranty and if you buy it through Huion's web store, you have the option to purchase additional warranty. At the time of this review, it looks like to have six more months, it's additional $80 and to have an extra year, that's $150 US dollars. The power brick and the power cable. On Huion's web store, you can choose the plug. If you buy it through Amazon, it's gonna come with the country specific plug. This is a 3 to 1 cable. On one side, there's this single USB-C that goes to the pen display. On the other side, this will go to the power and this two will go to the computer. Full-size HDMI and USB-A. This is a USB-C to C cable. There are two models for Canvas 22, the Canvas 22 Plus and Canvas 22. Both support USB-C, but the USB-C cable is only included with Canvas 22 Plus. Here's the pen and the stand. The pen supports tilt sensitivity as well as slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. The design looks good. It's comfortable to hold with its large rubber grip. It has a nice weight to it. Build quality is solid. It's not powered by battery, so you don't have to charge it. The two side buttons can be customized to various mouse functions and keyboard shortcuts. The click is firm. There is movement with the tip, but it's very minimal. You can rest the pen vertically or horizontally on this stand and you can unscrew it and inside you will be able to find 10 replacement nibs and the nib remover. This is the display stand that you have to attach to the display yourself. Huion has provided four screws and the Allen key screwdriver to help you do so. So this is the Huion Canvas 22 Plus. I have already removed the protective film covering the display. The build quality is solid. And this is the back. Design is very clean. There are holes on the side to dissipate heat to rubber feet at the bottom. The body is made of plastic with this nice matte texture to it. And here are some instructions on how you can fix the stem. You can choose to VESA mount this as well. The dimensions are 7.5 centimeters by 7.5. These are the ports on the side, USB-A that you can use with your USB devices to USB-C. This is for the three to one cable and this is for use with your USB-C devices. Say you want to connect your computer with Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C to this pen display for audio and video. Unfortunately, you will not be able to power the pen display from that single port. You need to use the three to one cable for power. Other USB-C chargers, like the ones you use for your phone or tablet, they will not be able to power this pen display. Attaching the display stand to the display is very easy. Just make sure the latch here is at the top. You need the latch here so that you can reach it. The display together with the stand, it's 3.9 kg. And there are some vents here as well. The upright position is not perfectly perpendicular to the table. By the way, this is quite thin. It's just slightly thicker compared to my 15 inch laptop. So you can deploy the stand at various position. And this is the lowest position. The stand is very stable. 
the two rubber feet on the display and the two rubber feet on the stand they will be in contact with the table at all deployment positions I've just connected the pen display to my MacBook Pro which also has Windows 10 installed I'm using the 3 to 1 cable that's provided so this is full-size HDMI and this is the USB so that the pen display can detect the pen if you happen to be using a computer with USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 you can use the USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 cable to connect to the pen display but you will still need this cable to provide power which means um, if you do want to use your USB-C cable you'll be using two cables this cable and the USB-C cable so if I have a computer that uses USB-C I will still choose to use this 3 to 1 cable because um, it's just a single cable out of the box the colors look fantastic I was able to tell at an instant that the visual quality of this display it's better compared to the Huion Canvas Pro 24 that I featured a few days ago and that pen display is 400 US dollars more than this so I have already color calibrated this display to match the colors on my laptop and now the colors they look similar I measured 96% sRGB and 97% O2B RGB so color accuracy is fantastic Huion's website listed the maximum brightness as 220 nits I measured 314 nits so this is a bright display and the brightness is able to show off the vibrant colors really beautifully this monitor uses quantum dot technology which is the same technology that's used by Samsung to make their QLED monitors that technology is able to produce better colors and brightness and I can definitely see that here now the canvas 22 non plus model it doesn't use quantum dot now both displays the plus and the non plus they are both IPS LCD monitors um, but this uses quantum dot so I'm not sure if you can expect the same level of brightness or color accuracy with the non plus model viewing angles are fantastic the colors don't shift even if you view the display from the side and the anti glare it works so well let me place my laptop with a glossy display on the side so that you can see the difference so can you see the reflections on the display and the anti glare that's able to diffuse the reflection and this display is bright enough that the colors can still shine through so um, this display looks really good the matte drawing surface is what helps with the anti-glare and this is matte glass it's not a matte screen protector so you're not going to be able to scratch this another selling point of this product is the laminated display which has absolutely no gap between the pen tip and the line or cursor beneath so when you're drawing it really looks like the lines are coming out from directly beneath the pen tip I have reviewed the canvas pro 24 a few days ago which is supposed to have a laminated display but even for that display there is still a tiny gap here there is no gap at all the resolution of this display is only 1080p so pixelation is going to be obvious but because of the laminated display it's going to look as if the pixels are on the surface um, even the pixels they look like really sharp 1080p is still a very usable resolution for me I still get a lot of canvas space to work with and this is a huge display to draw on I mean if you are someone who likes to draw with wide movements you are going to feel the freedom uh, here the matte texture here is smoother compared to the one on the canvas pro 24 so the pen is going to glide around more smoothly some may prefer the more tactile feel of a rougher surface but here um, I think it works well what I like about this smoother matte surface is 
there is no speckle effect or visual artifacts commonly associated with matte screen protectors. This laminated display is even better compared to the laminated display on the iPad Pro because this display it's matte surface it's not glossy and reflective like the iPad Pro. I've not used a Wacom Cintiq for a very long time so I cannot tell you if this is as good as a Wacom Cintiq but this is very good. I mean I feel like I am drawing on a 21.5 inch iPad Pro except the screen is not reflective and glossy. The Canvas 22 and the 22 Plus, they don't have physical shortcut buttons, which is not a loss for me because personally, I prefer to use my keyboard for keyboard shortcuts. And um, the design is symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter whether you're left or right-handed. So I have been using this display for a few hours now and it doesn't give out much heat so you can definitely draw on this very comfortably for long periods of time. This display doesn't have touch so you won't be able to use any of your finger gestures. Let's see what you can change with the OSD. You can change backlight, brightness, contrast, sharpness. I'm actually not too sure what's the difference between these two. I mean they both change the brightness, um, gamma, color temperature. So those are the color settings that are important. And now let's take a look at what you can do with the driver. Driver functionality on Mac and Windows is essentially similar except for Windows there is Windows Ink. So you may have to toggle that on or off if pressure sensitivity is not working as expected. This is the Windows driver and because there are no physical shortcut buttons, there is no need to customize any. This is where you can adjust the pressure curve for the pen. You can do so using these two dots to manually adjust the curve, which is great because it gives you more precision. With the Mac driver, you only have one dot. And this is where you can customize the two side buttons. I have one button set to switch screen. I'm using two displays, the pen display and the one on my laptop. So I need to have this switch screen function so that when I press the button, the cursor can jump to the other display. If you're using Mac OS and you switch display, the cursor will jump to the other display and you click again, it will jump back here. But on Windows, you click once, it will jump there, you click again. Now you can control the cursor across both displays and click another time, it will jump back here. Personally, I prefer the Mac OS driver implementation where the cursor is either here or there, not where you can control the cursor across both displays. Let's do some line quality test. So the lines, they are able to taper very nicely, very gradually. Line transition from thin to thick with Photoshop. This is with 0% smoothing. So it looks like the lines, they can go from thin to thick and back to thin very smoothly and when the lines are turning the curves they are very smooth there is no angular uh, movement last thing i look out for is whether or not the pen can maintain consistent pressure because sometimes you may want to draw a line that is uniform in thickness and it looks like this pen is able to maintain consistent pressure quite nicely. And the initial activation force is quite uh, low. You can apply very light pressure to get the thin lines very easily. I would say the initial activation force here is even lower compared to the Canvas Pro 24 where you have to apply a little bit more pressure to get the best results. Um, here, this pen, it's for some reason uh, more sensitive. 
even though this is actually the same pen um, that's used with the Canvas Pro 24. Right now I'm holding the pen like this so that I can draw the lightest of pressure. So I can see the lines. This means you can choose a huge brush and if you want to draw thin lines, you can just apply very light pressure instead of changing the brush size. So here I have a huge brush. And these are the thin lines that I can draw. And this is how thick um, that brush really is. Overall drawing experience is fantastic. This, by the way, is my two-year-old girl who is currently my muse. So you'll see her a lot in many of my reviews. The lines taper really well and they always come out exactly the way I expect them to. So performance is very consistent and very predictable. This pen is so sensitive. I have tested this pen display on Mac and Windows with the various drawing software that I have, namely Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo and Designer, Clip Studio Paint, Medibank Paint Pro, which is the app that I'm using right now, Krita, and they all work really well. I did not experience any glitches. The drawing experience is fantastic. As in, it really makes you enjoy the drawing process. Let's see what happens when you play some dots. No problem. All right, almost done. So this is on Windows. You can expect the same drawing performance on Mac OS. This pen display also supports Android. So if you are using a phone or tablet that can output video signal using the USB port, you can connect it directly to the pen display, which I'm going to do so right now using this Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Both Canvas 22 and Canvas 22 Plus can be used with Android devices. So if you happen to be using an Android phone or tablet that can output video signal using the USB-C port, you will be able to connect it directly to the pen display but you still need to use that 3 to 1 cable for power. There are now black bars on the left and right because it's doing a 100% mirror. It's following the aspect ratio of this tablet. Okay, let's draw something. This is concepts. Unfortunately, pressure sensitivity, it doesn't work here. Whether pressure will work or not really depends on the app that you are using. This is Medibank Paint Pro and pressure works here. So if you want to um, have navigation like zooming in and out, panning, rotating, you would have to use the tablet for those uh, finger gestures because, well, this is not a touch display. It's actually quite convenient to use the tablet for navigation and the pen display for drawing. Some of these Android apps support pressure sensitive styluses. However, even so, some of them don't actually work with this stylus. So for example, with Concepts and Autodesk Sketchbook, they support pressure sensitivity, but they just don't work with this pen. Pressure sensitivity works with Artflow. Medibank Paint Pro and Infinite Painter, but uh, it doesn't work that well with Infinite Painter. I think of all the apps here, Medibank Paint Pro um, works best with this stylus. Because no driver is required for this pen display to work with Android, there is no way for you to adjust the pressure curve of the pen. You will have to depend on the apps to um, adjust the pressure curve. So for example, with Infinite Painter, they do allow you to adjust the pressure curve. 
You can connect this to the iPad as well, but it's going to be used as a monitor. You won't be able to draw anything because this pen display doesn't support iOS. Alright, to conclude, the main selling point for the Huion Canvas 22 Plus really comes down to the visual quality of the display. This is a true laminated display, true as in there really isn't any gap between the line and the cursor beneath the pen tip. So when you're drawing, it's really satisfying. It really seems like the line is coming out from the pen tip and this matte surface this is smoother compared to other um, matte surfaces that Huion has created like the matte screen protectors and the matte edge glass of uh, other pen displays here it's smoother and because it's smoother there is no visual artifact there is no speckles that's commonly associated with matte surfaces so the image quality is very sharp even for pixelation with 1080p, um, you can see the pixels. Uh, those pixels are very sharp too. And anti glare works really well. Colors are accurate, 97%. Adobe RGB support and brightness, uh, maximum brightness is slightly over 300 nits, which is really bright. So this is a very bright and vibrant display. Um, all this that I have said applies to the Canvas 22 Plus. I don't have the 22 non-plus model to compare and to test, so I can only uh, speak for this particular model. Downsides. Well, there are no physical shortcut buttons, uh, which I do not miss because I prefer my keyboard for keyboard shortcuts. Maybe it would be good to be able to use a generic USB-C cable to power the pen display when you are using other USB-C devices rather than having to use the 3 to 1 cable that's provided. And Android support is um, hit and miss, but that's not really uh, a problem of the pen display. It's an issue with Android. Okay, so the price of this, the Huion Canvas 22 Plus, this is US $499. The Canvas 22 Non Plus, that's US $100 cheaper. Personally, I would recommend this model for the laminated display because it really is that good. It, in my opinion, is better compared to the glossy laminated display of the iPad Pro. So you are going to get a lot of satisfaction drawing on this particular model. All right, so I think I've covered pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.